Adventure with Artists. Welcome back to another art lesson with Miss Whitney. This is virtual lesson number nine. I hope you had fun with your Halloween celebrations in and out of school. Before we get started, I wanted to share a photo of my Countrywood Halloween costume on Friday. Mr. Slowitzki and I dressed up as thing one and thing two, and Mrs. Corn was the cat in the hat. We had so much fun dancing our carts around school in costume. And now it's time for Miss Whitney's Mask of the Week. This is my fifth Mask of the Week. My first and second grade artists might recognize this painting. Some of my kindergarten artists may have also seen this painting before. I painted this mask to look like one of the most famous paintings ever made. Can you guess the artist's name? The artist is Vincent Van Gogh. I say, you say, Vincent. Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh was born on March 30th in the year 1853 in the Netherlands. We're the Netherlands, a Northwestern European country. He made drawings from an early age, but it wasn't until he was 27 years old that he got his first paint set and made his first painting. Before he became an artist, he tried working many jobs. He worked as a teacher, at an art gallery, at a bookstore, and then tried to be a pastor in a church like his dad. None of these careers ended up working out, so he decided to focus on painting with help from his older brother, who was his best friend. He didn't have a lot of money and couldn't afford to pay for models, so most of his paintings were of flowers, landscapes, which we know are paintings of outdoor scenes, and self-portraits, which are paintings of himself. A portrait is a painting you make of someone else, and a self-portrait is a painting you make of yourself. I say, you say, self-portrait. Van Gogh painted over 900 paintings, but only ever sold one while he was alive. It wasn't until after he died that his brother's wife made it her goal to show his art to the world. He never knew that he would become one of the most famous artists ever. Let's take a look at some of his amazing paintings. What do you see in this painting? This is one of the sunflower paintings in a series of paintings. That means he painted more than one sunflower painting that all looks similar. He painted the series in the south of France in the year 1888. He was renting rooms in a yellow house. Do you notice his name Vincent on the flower vase? This is another one of Van Gogh's paintings. What do you see in this painting? This is called Cafe Terrace at Night. He didn't paint this from memory. He painted this while he was looking at the cafe. He never signed this painting, but people know he painted it because he wrote three letters to his brother about it. Even though it's at nighttime, he still wanted the colors to be bright. Do you see all of the brush strokes that he made? Thick and big in the sky and small on the street in front? The cafe still exists today. It was renamed Cafe Van Gogh. Here is one of Van Gogh's self-portraits. He painted more than 30 paintings of himself in just three years. That's a lot of self-portraits for any artist. Do you see the swirls behind him? His painting style showed emotion and movement. And this is one of the most famous paintings in the world. What do you see in this painting? What would you name this painting? The name of this painting is Starry Night. The spinning, swirling wind make it look like there is actually a strong wind blowing through the air. 
The big bright stars and moon in the big blue night sky are there to help you imagine about how a clear dark night sky over a sleepy town might look. The big object in the front is actually a cypress tree. Starry Night is hanging in the Museum of Modern Art, which is right here in New York City. I have seen it in real life and it is so amazing to stand in front of. And that's what I painted my mask of the week to look like. Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. Let's sing our welcome song and begin this week's art lesson. Hello, hello to all my friends. Here we are in art again. It's great to see you, everyone. Countrywood artists, Miss Whitney. We're going to make some art and have some fun. Round of applause. All right, friends, for this lesson, we are going to make artwork in the style of the great artist, Vincent van Gogh. We are going to create a sunflower with a swirly background, just like the starry night. For this lesson, you can use the art materials that you have at home. Let's start with a swirly sky background. You can start with blue paper and add the swirls with crayons, markers, or paint. Or you can start with white paper and add the swirls with crayons and paint over your crayon swirls with watercolor paints. This can be done with tempera paint as well. But I would paint the background first, let it dry, and then add the swirls with more paint or crayons after. Let's practice making swirls. It's almost like you're making a circle. But instead of closing the circle, you get smaller and smaller inside until your swirl is complete. Add swirls around your entire background. Try adding different colors like Van Gogh did. He uses different shades of blue, yellow, and white for his night skies. You can also add stars to your background sky. Put your background off to the side while we create our sunflower. You can create this using the materials you have at home also. You can start with white paper and use paint, crayons, or markers to add the color. Or you can start with yellow paper for the petals, brown paper for the center of the sunflower, and green paper for the stem and leaves. I'll show you how to add details to the petals and leaves. Take a darker yellow crayon, or whatever material you are using, and add shading to the bottom of the petals. For the leaves, make a line down with a darker green crayon, or whatever material you are using. You can also make small V's through the line down the leaf. Create your sunflower using your own style and materials. Glue down your sunflower to your background. Everyone will have a different sunflower and swirly sky masterpiece. That's the great thing about being an artist. No masterpiece will be exactly the same. I can't wait to see your masterpieces inspired by the great artist Vincent van Gogh. Don't forget to submit your artwork through Google Classroom. I'll see you next week for a new art lesson. Bye friends. <laughs>